All right, so it's Sunday morning, not 6 a.m. It is actually, let me check the time. Fuck, I don't have my phone. It is 11.14 a.m., so it's still the morning. About to be afternoon. It looks like a, a really nice day is coming around the corner. Always windy though, but give you some context. It is day 80, 89. Day 89. It's a cardio day, so I'm not gonna be doing much shit other than walking around and moving as much as possible. Um, I just went to Muay Thai this morning. I didn't film, didn't have the camera. Um, yeah, just got back. I did a little bit of something. I don't know if it was irresponsible. Spent $160 on meat, but it's the type of meat that is maybe questionable. Just kidding. It's not questionable. It's gonna be good. Okay, so I got, I'll just do a meat. I'll do a meat haul. Okay, so and to give you context on why, I, this lady that my grandpa used to know and my mom is friends with, um, live in like a small, 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 like basically the middle of nowhere in North Dakota, have a cattle ranch and Raise cow and fucking butcher them. So, no more fucking Aldi meat. Even though I have one steak left, I'm gonna eat it probably. Um, no more Aldi meat. If I don't know where this, the cow came from, fucking probably shouldn't put it into my body, right? I'm trying to get away from the unorganic fruit, but the fuck the fucking prices of organic fruit. Literally, one thing of strawberries, organic strawberries. Ten dollars, bro. I'm not doing that. Okay, like I'll spend money. I spent 160 bucks on this meat, and you're gonna see. I didn't get a ton of stuff. I got a good amount though. So the first is this eye of the round. If you cut this up, it's supposed to take like it's supposed to taste like a uh, ribeye, which we will be the test of that. So that's the first. That is a big ass steak. Anyways, these are, I got two sirloins. So these are just normal top sirloins. Um, just a normal steak, but okay, I'll save the best for last. She told me to get these flat iron steaks. I've never had a flat iron. Um, you're just supposed to sear them really quick. And then, I mean, it looks really good marbling. Like that looks really good. Those were, these were only like $8 a pound. The, those were $9 a pound that roast. Sirloins, I think the sirloins are $14 a pound. But, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go porterhouse next. So, these last two are crazy. Porterhouse. Look at how fucking big that is, it sucks my face. One of them is a T-bone, and one of them is a porterhouse. For some reason, I got charged for a T-bone because she said, hey, they, for some reason they threw a porterhouse in there, which a fucking porterhouse is like, elite level steak, I would say. It's basically a T-bone with the tenderloin on it still, or the New York strip, whatever the fuck. I don't know exactly, but it is a very good cut. This was 2.4 pounds, $20 a pound. So this is a $48 steak, $48. Now, last steak. I don't know when I'm gonna cook this, but it is getting cooked soon. Tomahawk. I got a fucking tomahawk. Look at how thick this thing is. It's already two and a half inches thick. 2.69 pounds. 2.69. That is a $50 steak. 50 or 60, almost $60 steak. I don't have my phone, so I can't do the calculations, but. What is that? Seven, 14, six, or $54 steak. A 50 fucking $4 steak. I just bought this shit. <sighs> That's gonna be, have to be a fucking good ass day if I'm gonna eat this $54 steak. That's awesome though. Look at how much fat is on it. Holy shit. Hell yeah, a $54 steak. I'm happy about that. That's a new. <laughs> That's a new steak PR of how much I spent on a steak. Fuck. 
that so much. Fifty four dollars. I just spent I just spent your whole fucking day working on a steak. Tell me about it. Alright, anyways, that that's not the flex, that was a joke. Um fifty-four dollars, damn. I gotta shut up about this. Anyways, today's a cardio day. I might just be talking to the camera every here and there. Um maybe when I cook my steak later. I got some fruit as well, so uh, I didn't show you the, uh, what else I got. So, anyways, that's the rest of it. Got four gallons of milk at the grocery store, and then, um, yeah, just like different types of fruit: tomatoes, apples, raspberries, blackberries. Yeah, all that good shit. So, I'm gonna be eating that. Snacking on that uh, for the next couple days while eating my steaks. Should last me a couple more days till I get the order of like the lot, a lot, a lot of meat, uh, which that will be a good ass day. I love that day. It's coming up. <sighs> Anyways, I also got something else. I've been getting hella shit. What the hell? I didn't realize this. I got this flower bed. So it's an elevated wooden garden bed. So I bought that shit. It's gonna go out on the patio. I'm gonna fill it up with dirt and fucking grow some plants. Food plants, like tomatoes and shit, so I don't have to, literally $7 for tomatoes. Fuck that. I bought them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm complaining. Okay, so this is the thing. I gotta shut the fuck about, about complaining about food. Your mom's calling. Anyways. Um. Because I hate when I'm at the grocery store and I hear people complaining about the prices. I fucking hate it. Which they have, there's some validity to their arguments, but it's just fucking annoying. It's like, ah, oh, it's kind of sad as well. It's like, if, if I'm not gonna like argue, uh, like think about it in the store, I'm just gonna be like, I'm not gonna get that. That's retarded. And when I do actually want something, I'll just fucking get it. I just like overcome it. When I'm at the grocery store, I go into the grocery store with the mindset of I'm gonna spend this fucking money on good food. So I buy the good food and then, but some things just not worth it. Like fucking ten dollars for strawberries? No, I don't even like strawberries. Ten dollars worth? No, not me. I'd rather have a, a fifth of the tomahawk steak, or I guess yeah, a fifth of the tomahawk steak. Shit. I could have bought 10 organic blue or five organic blueberries or oh, strawberries. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna end this off. Muay Thai is good. I'll do a flex after Muay Thai right now. I also did get beef jerky, but I ate it already. So sorry about it. Jalapeno beef jerky. It was good. Okay, pre even cardio flex. So this is a Muay Thai flex. <sighs> okay, ending. All right, we're using beef tallow. I got the beef tallow. I got one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a skillet for one. One of these uh, flat iron sticks. So. There we go. They uh, should be pretty good. Is what I was told. Bought it, bought it this morning. So, I'm gonna cook this thing up and uh, we'll taste test it, but then I got two more. These are, these are the other ones that I'm gonna be cooking later. I just wanted to cook this one before Anna comes because she's gonna help me eat one of those. All right. It's pretty raw, to be honest with you. I have the other half cooking because I cut it open and it was just fucking raw. I gotta remember, like, every time I cook it on the grill, I fucking overcook it. Every time I cook it on a scale, I undercook it. You need a happy medium.
It's pretty good. It just tastes better because it's better quality meat. If I get a good cook on it, the one that I put on the grill, it's over. It's going to be so good. Yeah, if I would have cooked it a bit longer, like this one, that one's going to taste a lot better. But be more a bit tender. Alright. Cut. Oh, wait. Put it out there. That's a flower bed. So, we'll plant some, maybe tomorrow or maybe today, I'll go plant some, get to the grocery store, get to the store somewhere and then um, plant, plant some tomatoes. Holy shit. Look at those. That is perfect. That's fucking amazing. I'm hoping I can get these to look like that as well. But those will be on the grill, so... Just gotta get a real, real, real good sear. And, uh... Cooked it with beef towel. Tallow. Beef towel is basically... The fat. On beef. Mixed up. Like somebody that people start putting it on their face. Look how glorious. That's nice. I like that. Anyways, I'm gonna eat. Cut. Alright. It is 9.22. At night. I just got back from like an hour long walk. Cardio. Tried to be active today to move around, but um. I'm tired as shit right now, so I'm gonna head to bed, but yeah, it wasn't a super eventful day. This video, this video is quick. I just have to fucking document it, because otherwise, yeah, why would I, that's the whole fucking point of making these videos. It's not to be fucking entertaining or any of that shit, it's so I do it every day. I gotta keep that in my head. So, not bad if these aren't entertaining, but fuck, it's not for that. It's for fucking me having my accountability. Cause it's fucking rough sometimes. Um, tomorrow. <sighs> tomorrow will be good. We're gonna go at six a.m. again. I'm gonna, I gotta go to bed soon if I'm gonna wake up at 6. So. I think it's arms tomorrow. It's chest or arms. It's one of the two. Either one, I'm a happy boy. Man. I'm a man, right? 19, you're a man. Contemplating. So. My lip is still fucked up. I don't know why. That's what I'm talking to you. Fucking hurt so bad. Anyways, upload yesterday's video that took fucking forever because I wasn't here this morning. <sighs> Let's go. Day 89. Is it actually day 89? Yeah, that's day 89. 90 tomorrow. It's three fucking months. That's awesome.